Hi, welcome to Good Enough Painting. Today I'm continuing my series on Blood Rage, and it's going to be the Frost Troll today. Um, I was challenged to do something new, so I'm trying a, a gradient that's on my wet palette. Um, I hope you like it. Let's get to it. Alright, let's get started. So, uh, starting out with the dark gray, I just hit all the stones and then worked my way up from there using lighter and lighter gray and a dry brush. I also gave the uh, hair a coat in this dark gray as well. Alright then, and starting with the skin, uh, I started, this is something I was trying new. It is, I uh, started with all the deep shadows. So I just blocked them all in with solid black. Um, I've never seen this done before. It was completely new to me. I was just trying something new. Um, it turned out it turned out really cool in the end, I think. And then using royal blue, I created a gradient on my wet palette uh, with black uh, fading all the way up to the true uh, royal blue. I then took my darkest blue and painted in all over the black areas that I just blocked in, uh, expanding out a little bit and making sure that my paint was translucent enough to where the black would still be showing through. And then gradually, working away from the black, I started using more and more mid-tone of the gradient that I made until I got a result looking something like this. Then I wanted to push it a little bit further. Uh, I took a little bit of Fenrisian blue and some Cadian flesh tone and mixed it into the, uh, the lightest blue that I had, which was the true royal blue, and uh, painted all the raised areas. And then I focused solely on the, uh, the stretched part of skin or where the skin is the thinnest, and I tried to hit that with more of the Cadian flesh tone gradient. I then took pure white and did a dry brush all over the hair and on top of the rocks. For his armbands, I was wanting something a little bit more contrast with all the cold colors I was using, so gold was the color that I chose. Alright, finally paint that base rim black. Alright, and that wraps him up. This, uh, this was extremely fun to do. Uh, trying something new is always always on my to-do list. I, I get locked into pretty much painting in the Citadel style all the time, and then also I get lazy and just paint and, uh, and, and just leave it after the wash and, and finish it up. So having something new in my steps was really cool. If you liked the video, if you found it enjoyable, please like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way and uh, helps me know what you guys like to watch. Um, Anyways, hey, you know, you don't have to be perfect, just good enough. Hope to see you next time.